Welcome back to the QTAC channel. Today we're going to do a walk around of one of our latest deliveries and this is the QTAC Super 3. The latest iteration of the Super 3 that we began building in 2019. This has the Polytuff body, Polytuff tank with 500 gallons of water, meets NWCG Type 3 rating. Starting at the front of the truck, we've got an extended aluminum buck stop front bumper. We use aluminum on the Super 3 just for weight considerations because we're hauling 500 gallons of water. We want to make sure we, we alleviate the weight off the front end, off the front axle as much as possible. Got a worn winch, which is accessed through a door here. And then also we put in uh, anybody who wants a, a pre-connected hose tray, we build in a tray into this bumper. That's 25 feet of inch and a half on the pre-connected hose tray. Emergency lighting are all amber on this truck because it's a wildland contractor. Tomar TRX Series 3-inch off-road lights are in the front bumper. Also in the front bumper down here is an ARB uh, twin air compressor. And that's really for the, for, mostly for tire inflation because on the Continental MPT-81s, you really need to make sure that you keep tire pressures at, right at the recommended levels, which is right around 90 PSI. Um, if you allow that to drop and you're traveling with this truck, you're gonna go through tires pretty quickly. If you keep them aired up and you keep them rotated, they'll last about 20,000 miles. Continental is coming out with a tire that is supposed to double that mileage. We're waiting to see that. This super single conversion is the buck stop stage two. And, and again, MPT-81s, that's a 41 inch tire. Uh, we order it with the extended bumper. It comes with the aluminum wheels. It used to be always steel wheels. They've now switched to an aluminum wheel. And, uh, and that's, this is the, the first time that we've used this wheel. With the way of the lighting, we have the mini ions up front on the bumper and in the grill. The Liberty light bar up top. We got an off-road light bar up uh, on the front of the cab and then the M4V, which has amber here and then a down light, which is a white down light. And that's activated with the left scene on the, uh, on the controller, on the Whaling controller. We've got side discharges on, on both sides of the truck. ROM aluminum roll-up doors. And this is the, the Polytuff body that we build. We've had several people ask where we buy the bodies from. We don't buy them, we build them in-house, as well as the tanks. So Polytuff body with the Zolotone interior finish, and then uh, the Ford matching white paint. Aluminum top boxes and aluminum shelving. Uh, why do we use aluminum if we're a poly builder? Uh, the answer, simple answer is there's, every material has you know pros and cons, and we use pretty much any type of material. We've used, we use fiberglass in-house, we use poly, aluminum, we stainless steel. We do uh, TIG welding with stainless steel for all our manifolds. A lot of aluminum welding in-house as well. Um, when it comes down to long runs of unsupported material, uh, that's not where poly shines. Poly can tend to get a wave in it if it's not gusseted. So when you have a long run like this, aluminum makes sense. Uh, when you put a body together and you've got ends and walls and everything connecting it, poly can't be beat. It's really a great material for body construction. One of two fuel cells, one on each side. Um, so this is a this is a gas pump setup. Uh, we'll show you why that is in a minute. Uh, would it be advantageous to run a diesel pump and fit, fed off the fuel tank of the truck? Yes, it is, and we do that often. But with this setup, can't really do that, and we'll show you why in just a sec. On the back of the truck, we've got hard suction storage, uh, obviously the Whalen lighting still, access to the hose reel here, um, I-zone hooks, CPI steps off the back, and uh, attachment points here that are bolted in through the frame. And then the unique part of this build, which is this pump system. And this is two water axe BB4s 
plumbed in such a way that they meet NWCG Type 3 rating, which is a minimum of 250 PSI at 150 GPM. This isn't for everybody. Um, this really works for small departments who are trying to, to get a Type 3 on their equipment list. Uh, for a wildland contractor who's looking to get a Type 3 on a contract, this makes sense because it's lightweight, much lighter than, than a single diesel pump would be. Uh, it's less expensive than a single diesel pump and it also provides redundancy. So you can get the rating, type three rating, but when you're out on, on an incident, typically you're only gonna be using one pump. I mean, as a single pump, it's making 440 PSI. Uh, so you've got a, a lot of capability in a single pump. You can load balance these pumps with use over time. That way you're only really using the pump half the time. And that's gonna extend the life of the pump, extends the life of the truck, and uh, it also gives you parts interchangeability should something uh, go down. If one pump goes down and something else happens, you can start to scavenge parts back and forth. Uh, all, typically, we, we've got a, a standard setup of plumbing on this. Uh, we, do, we can um, change it for the customer if they need to, but this is a pretty stock package for us that we build into every Super 3. Here's the dual control panel, so your op controls for both pumps. Uh, left side, obviously, up here. Right side, up here. Common gauges, um, easy to get to, well laid out, um, easy to operate. And it, though it looks complex, once you're trained on it, it's actually a pretty simple system. In front of the truck, we have our QTAC Polytuff consoles. This is one of about four different variations that we sell. It's got an aluminum top hinged here, really easy to access everything inside. Uh, all the standard controls that you would have, USB chargers, uh, cup holders, as well as storage compartments. Straightforward and simple design on this console, but one that is really utilitarian and has all the information that you need right here at your fingertips. Under the back seats, we have a custom compartment. This replaces the stock under seat storage uh, and, and it allows us to put all our wiring back here. Very easy to access, easy to work on should you need to. We can also install other storage back here for the customer if they if they would like. In this configuration we have five large storage boxes on top of the Super 3. Can be configured with hose beds or pre-connected hose beds if you'd like. Uh, this one has two large boxes in the back, two thin ones, uh, long thinner ones up on the sides each side and then a large box over the tank and that can haul the spare tire if you want to haul a spare tire or other gear bags up on the tank. So again, thank you for tuning in to the QTAC channel and this walk around of the Super 3. We appreciate it. If you like what we're doing and you want to like and subscribe, that always helps out. And we will be featuring more truck walk arounds, truck skid walk arounds and other projects and features that we're doing uh, at QTAC and also with our customers and our partners and, and some of the projects they're working on as well. Thank you and we'll see you on the next one.